Yes, sir. Please state your full legal name for the record. Danny Polo. Please call your first and last name for the record. D A N N Y P O L O. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And uh, please have a seat. Thank you. Detective Polo, uh, what's happened is you're wearing a mask now. Defendants uh, have objected to that. Yes, sir. And, uh, the state indicated that uh, it's been done in other courtrooms and there's a predicate for it, uh, I guess, because of safety and security is the way I understand it. Specifically, your safety and security. Yes, sir. Is that correct, ma'am? Yes, sir. So uh, I'm going to come in here. I want to take some testimony from you outside the presence of the jury just to verify all of this. So, Ms. Bradley, I want to head to inquire. Detective Polo, how are you so employed? Uh, with the Broward County Sheriff's Office. How long have you worked in Broward County Sheriff's Office? This is 2015. How long have you been assigned to the Strategic Investigations Division? Since March of 2018. And your time in the Strategic Investigations Division, or SAD, have you worked undercover operations? Since that time and before. And the undercover operations that you work, what type are they? Majority of them are um, narcotics, firearms, violent crimes, um, gang-related investigations. How many years did you spend specifically in the gang and organized crime section of the Strategic Investigations Division? From 20, March 2018 to three weeks ago. Have there been credible threats on your life? Yes. Uh, is there currently a critical threat on your life? Yes. In terms of the, is there an amount of money assigned to the death of you that has been offered up? Uh, approximately $50,000. In terms of your safety and security, why do you wear the mask for that, both reasons? To protect my family. So. I'm not walking around Broward County, Palm Beach County, Dick County, anywhere, and uh, get ambushed by someone that might be looking for me. We've done cell phone warrants on multiple people in Broward County involved in the investigation work after the threat. And outside of that investigation, there's photographs of deputies being sent around, people trying to figure out who I am and what I look like. And that's a kind of a concern for me. If it was just one person, I'd probably just write it off, but yeah, after five or six cell phones got downloaded and uh, there was pictures of many deputies uh, being sent around saying, is this Danny Polo? I'm like, okay, these guys are actually looking for me. And so, Detective Polo, with regards to the prior times you testified in court, did you testify earlier this month before the Honorable Judge Martin Fine? Yes. How were you attired? I believe I was wearing this suit, probably. <laughs> and in terms of your face, how was that? Done? Same mask. Have you testified before the Honorable Judge Michael Luson in this courthouse? Yes. Was that in or around February and March of this year, 2023? Yes. And what case was that on? Uh, that was the XXX Tentacion case. And that was uh, the death of that individual? Yes. How many times did you testify in that case? It was twice. How were you attired when you testified then? Uh, different suit, same mask. And in terms of during that particular testimony, were individuals trying to call your cell phone and get in contact with you during the actual testimony? Yeah, that happened. <laughs> and was this testimony live streamed as well? It was live streamed. Yeah. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Yes. On this issue, go ahead. Yes. What time did you get to the courthouse today and sit outside? Just after 9 o'clock. And were you wearing that mask? No, sir. In fact, you've been sitting out there for at least an hour unmasked yes, as people were walking in and out, correct? Correct. Are you the only expert in, in the... Uh, Dealing with gangs and BSO? I believe I'm the only one that's testified as an expert at the Broward Sheriff's Office currently. How about in the state of Florida? Uh, you know? 
I'm, I'm sure there's other uh, experts in the state of Florida. And for the last hour, you've been right outside this courtroom where the doors are, correct? Yes. Unmasked. Yes. As people in this group, including myself, were walking in and out, correct? Yes, sir. You weren't concerned about your safety then? No one knows who I was out there. And I was under the impression I wasn't going to be allowed to wear the mask. So I took that one on the chin. I have no further questions. Thank you. So, uh, Deputy, uh, Detective or Deputy, I'm sorry, which is it? Uh, Detective Deputy. Uh, regarding, uh, you're telling me that uh, there is, you have fear for your safety. For my safety, but more for the safety of my family. And that's if your uh, face was broadcast? Yes, sir. Uh, and you're indicating now that there is intelligence from BSO that there is some type of uh, bounty or price on your on your your life? I intercepted it on a uh, court-authorized wiretap through the state of or through Broward County. It was a wire authorized by Judge Siegel um, through a gang investigation during that investigation, there was a conversation about placing a bounty on my head, uh, upwards of $50,000, and since then, we've, uh, as I stated before, recovered several cell phones in that investigation, and other narcotics investigations, firearms investigations, um, an investigation in South Carolina that was tied to Broward, where photographs of deputies were sent with my name attached to it, people trying to figure out who I am, what I look like. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Can you step down just way outside? Yes, sir.